Zumba Fitness is a program that is based on fitness and dance. Our main purpose is that we want to create a party-like atmosphere in our group fitness classes. People have fun and they don't realize that they are exercising. Most of our music is Latin-based music, merengue, salsa, cumbia, reggaeton. But we also incorporate uh, international music, hip-hop, rock and roll, flamenco, you name it, everything. Our workout should be intermittent training, meaning that one song or one choreography will take your heart rate up, while the next one will help you recover. That type of training is similar to what we know as interval training. On research, people have discovered that it's a great way to burn body fat. We commissioned a study with the University of Wisconsin La Crosse's Exercise and Sports Science Department to really try to critically examine the effectiveness of a Zumba workout. Because while it's a very fun and engaging activity, we want to make sure that consumers can expect to derive a real fitness benefit from participating in that type of activity. We looked at a group of college-age women and we measured their heart rate responses and oxygen consumption responses to a typical Zumba workout. And what we found is that the average heart rate for the participants was about 154 beats per minute, which translated to about 80% of their maximum heart rate, which is a very effective dose of exercise. While the Zumba is a fun and engaging workout that kind of creates this party-like atmosphere, it allows you to reach a training heart rate zone, and it also allows you to burn a reasonable number of calories, which could result in helping individuals to maintain their body weight. Compared to other very popular forms of exercise, the Zumba ranks quite well in terms of its calorie burning on a per minute basis. Just like the participants, we were surprised at how effective the Zumba workout was in terms of its calorie burning potential. The participants, in terms of how hard they perceived the workout to be, they basically perceived the workout to be much less challenging than it actually was. One of the questions that people always have is, does, it, does the exercise or activity need to be fun to produce results? I would say to produce lasting results, which is really the ultimate challenge, it absolutely has to be fun. The number one reason that people give for not engaging in physical activity on a regular basis is a perceived lack of time. And I would argue that we find time to do those things that we deem to be fun and engaging. If we motivate people around the world to start moving and people that haven't been exercising for a long time, I think we can help them just be healthier and happy.